Hey, Michael with X-Force PC. We're going to talk about enabling the onboard graphics on a particular motherboard. Now, a couple of things to keep in mind that are very important, very important. Make sure your chip, your processor, your CPU supports onboard graphics. A lot of them don't. And so trying to enable the onboard graphics uh, on a computer running a chip without integrated graphics support is a waste of time and uh, is not ever going to work. Uh, so Google it, just Google your chip and find out. Number two, uh, these onboard graphics ports are slow. And what I mean by that is for gaming. You can watch videos, browse the internet, check email, do anything you want in general on the, these ports except gaming. You cannot game on them well at all. Lastly, when you go into your BIOS, you're taking a risk. It's for experienced users. Um, this is level one stuff for those of us that are experienced, but do be aware that you could screw things up by going into your BIOS. So uh, do be willing to take that risk and know that that risk does exist before doing so. Now with all the disclaimers out of the way, let's move on and look at how to enable the onboard graphics. Okay, with all that said, let's take a look at enabling the onboard graphics on an MSI MPG Z490 Gaming Edge Wi-Fi. This would probably also work for the gaming, I think it's called Gaming Plus, pretty much any of the uh, MSI Z490 boards should, for the most part, follow this process. I'm just powering the computer on and I'm tapping the delete key over and over and over and over again about once per second because I want to go in the BIOS. Now typically it will start in easy mode which we are in right now and to go to advanced mode we hit F7 which I'm going to do. We're highlighted on settings but we can use the arrow keys to move around here as to what we're highlighted on but I want to go to settings so I hit enter and I go down using the down arrow to advanced, enter, integrated graphics configuration, enter. Now your initiate graphic adapter selection should be left to PEG. That is because you have a graphics card and you almost always, in almost every circumstance, want that to be the primary graphics adapter. So. PCI Express Graphics, what this means is this is the primary graphics adapter, so don't change that. I'm going to go down to IGD Multi Monitor and I'm going to hit Enter. I'm going to choose Enabled. And now we have enabled the onboard graphics. So now we can go hit the up arrow and we can allocate as much RAM as we want up to looks like 64 megs. That's a pretty small amount. But hopefully it will dynamically allocate more than that um, because that's a very small, I bet, yeah, 64 megs is a very small amount. And then I just hit escape one time and hit escape again and go down to save and exit and I want to save changes and reboot hit enter and then say yes left and right arrow will switch you between yes and no I'm actually not going to uh, save this because I don't want to enable the onboard graphics on this particular system but um, that is how you do it on an MSI Z490 board and in almost probably every Z490 Z board that MSI makes should follow that same sort of routine.